A vessel is in salt water with her port summer load line 60 mm below water and her starboard is 180 mm above. Find the dead weight available if a TPC is a 20. Well, this is the water line and this water, this is the load line mark. These are the load line marks. So we can say that port side load line mark is 60 mm below water line. This is the water line. So this is 60 mm below water and the starboard side one is 180 mm above. So this is the water line mark. Uh, this is the load line mark and this is the water line. So this is 180 mm above. Here in this problem, we need to find the dead weight available and the TPC is given which is 20, rather 20 ton per centimeter. Now we need to find the mean distance of these load line mark from the water line. So suppose this is the load line mark here, say let me mark here. So what is the distance of these load line mark? The mean distance is going to be somewhere here. So which can be calculated as mean distance of load line is 180 above minus 160 below because one is above one is below divided by 2 which is which gives me 60 mm above why above because 180 mm is above now this is a typical load line marks seen on the starboard side T S W well, the S is 60 mm above. So, for example, this is the water line. So, S mark, rather this distance, let me just, the top edge of this S mark from the water line is 60 mm or in centimeter is 6 centimeter. We need to find the dead weight available. That means how much cargo we can load or how much the ship we can sink. Well, we can sink the load line mark up to the top edge. So this is going to be our sinkage. At present, it is like this. And we can sink it further so that the top edge mark is touching the water line. So the sinkage is going to be 6 centimeter. Now let us find out how much cargo to load. Well, the formula for cargo to load is mean sinkage multiplied by TPC and we have this value mean sinkage is 6 the TPC is given as 20 so we have 120 ton cargo to load or weight to load and this is nothing but dead weight available.